Hi guys, Karen Blacher again. Um, sticking with my theme of do back to basics, uh, the next tutorial I'm going to do for you is a basic princess face. You know, this is one of these quickie designs I do when I have a little girl sit down on my station who has no idea what she wants. I say, how about a princess? And of course they all say, hooray! And I do a princess. I don't do it the same way every time, but I always include white swirls and teardrops. I always include some sort of crown, usually with a jewel in the center. And I always include blush. So I'm going to show you how those basic elements come together to make a standard quickie princess. So I'm going to start with the jewel. Normally I'll either ask the little girl her favorite color, sometimes I let her choose from my palette, or I'll match it to something that she's wearing, which is generally pink. So let's do... Actually, I know I said it's generally pink, but I'm in a purple mood, so I'm going to take metallic purple on my fat number four brush. Remember, I told you I have two. This is the chubbier one, and I just realized I left my other, other number four sitting in my water, so let me move that. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to make a teardrop, a large teardrop shape, right in the center of the forehead, like a teardrop or an elongated oval. like so. And that sort of becomes the focal point of the mask. All right from there, I take some DFX Metallics Gold on a relatively wide brush. In fact, I'm going to do it on my three-quarter flat. I'm going to pick up my DFX Metallics Gold. I'm going to make a band that this crown is on, starting from the side of that jewel, coming up in kind of a V. Starting thick, ending thin. And I'm doing that, okay? It occurs to me that in my more recent tutorials, I really explain a lot less the technique. What I'm doing is I'm holding my brush um, at a 90 degree angle to the eye, and I'm keeping it at that angle as I move it which is why as I move up, it's skinny, and as I move across, it's fat. So the brush really does the work there. I don't have to think about whether to make the line skinny or fat or change my pressure on it the way you would with a round. I'm going to do the same thing coming up the other side. I kind of come up, across, and then up again. Just making sure that kind of meets the gemstone in the center there. There we go. All right, now I embellish the crown and the whole design, really, with a whole lot of white. But before I do, I would like to take a sponge, a very slightly damp sponge that I'm just kind of tapping very lightly. You can see, just tap, tap, in my fuchsia, and just do a little bit of blush. Okay, then I'm going to take another number four. Or number six. Today I'm going to do a number four. DFX white. I like to run some swirls up alongside the stone here. So I'm going to run one going up kind of this way. Swirling it in towards the stone. Whatever I do on this side, I do on this side. Try to keep it as even as possible. I'm going to put in some teardrops next to the swirl, coming down in the same direction. Okay, then I'm also going to put some teardrops under the stone, pointing up towards the stone. I usually do either a set of three or a set of five. With one large one in the center, and smaller ones to the side of it. And the same thing above. Only above, I think today I'll do three, rather than five. And then I'm going to put some highlights on the stone itself to make it look like a stone. And I'll also toss a starburst in somewhere to make it look like it's sparkling. I do a four-pointed starburst. I know some of you prefer five-pointed starbursts. It really doesn't matter. I like four points. 
put another starburst somewhere else because I'll never do just one starburst. If I have one here, I put one up at like a 45 degree angle from it somewhere else. I just find that it's a little more visually appealing. So I'll stick one over here with a wetter brush than that. I like to accompany starbursts with dots. Sorry guys, camera ran out of power, but I'm plugged in now and this design is almost finished anyway, so we should be good. Um, there's really only one last thing to add here and that's a little bit of embellishment around the eyes. I do that with some quick teardrops. I like to do three at the corner of each eye. Again, I would normally add some glitter to that. I'm not doing glitter tonight because I don't want to glitter. Um, if this is an event where I'm painting lips, and I won't always when I'm doing an event for a protect allergic kids, I obviously don't. But if I can and I have the parents' permission, I will add a little bit, little bit of color to the lips too. The girls love it. Red or pink. And there we have a really quick and easy princess mask. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you can use it. And I always appreciate your feedback on what tutorials you'd like to see next. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep on rolling out random ones for you and hope you like them. So I will see you guys again soon. More tutorials to come. Thanks.